today we're going to talk about our Porsche 911 complete plug and play bolt in kits. So let's go. So what you see in front of you is our new 964 complete bolt in conversion kit. No modification to our original vehicle, everything is fully reversible. Now we're talking 180-ish mile range, CCS2 fast charging with CCS1 fast and charging coming this year, so no range anxiety, and you've got to love a Tesla large drive unit. Yep, just over four seconds, zero to 60 as well. So let's get started and talk through everything that is spread out here in front of me. Um, we're gonna start with the battery boxes. We have a front battery box and a rear battery box. This total kit is 53 kilowatt hours. Um, and it's built with our cowl modules and our liquid cooling system. So on the front battery box, we have our battery blow off valve. We have a high voltage connector underneath and we have a data connector, which links to the rear box. We also have our DC to DC converter to keep your 12 volt system topped up at all times. On the front of the vehicle, we then have a strut brace that ties into the front battery box like so. This then holds our 6.6 .6 kilowatt AC charger, which bolts in under here, as you can see. All pre-done, pre-terminated with the HV connectors on. Uh, the spare HV connector here actually goes onto the DC to DC, and then there is a pre-made HV line that plugs in just there and runs to the rear. Now this is our type two AC charge socket for the Porsche fuel bowl. It goes into the original fuel bowl with no modifications. We also do a type one for the American market. You simply unscrew it, slot this in through the original fuel bowl hole, put the top back on, tighten up, and that part is done. You then run the other end in through the little hole in the wing and plug it into your 6.6 .6 AC charger. This little bracket here, you mount in the front of the vehicle before you put the battery box in. Uh, this allows location points for the battery box to hold it all in place. And we're on to the low voltage system. Now we have a 12 volt low voltage side of the system, which goes into a 12 volt battery, DC to DC, ties all that together. We have a linked loom here, pre-made, plugs into the front box, runs all the way back, plugs into the rear box. That does the communication for the master slave Orion battery management system internally. And we then have our low voltage loom. Now this is a complete loom. It bolts in underneath the handlebar section um, and that then feeds the whole vehicle. It plugs into the original Porsche connection so there's no cutting, splicing into original wiring. That runs throughout the car. It goes front to rear into the interior to do your gauges, your gear selector, etc., your throttle, your brake pedal. Everything is built into that loom. Everything is pre-terminated, ready to go. We then have a large Tesla drive unit. Of course, we were gonna have a Tesla drive unit. Um, so we've set the Porsche up to be about 450 brake horsepower and just over four seconds, zero to 60. Um, this is complete bolt into original set of manual drive shafts. So we have forged 108 joints straight into the Tesla drive unit, straight onto your original Porsche shaft. Nice and easy, no custom shafts needed. And then moving on to the rear box. We have a complete sub-assembled rear box. Uh, we have our CCS controller on there. The Tesla drive unit actually sits in under here. And this whole piece is one structural member that picks up on the original gearbox points and the original engine mount points on the back with some more nice billet, aluminum, aluminum cups. Now the drive unit, the, the battery box comes pre-terminated with just nice, tidy HV connections. So you get a loom goes front to back. This is for your charger DC to DC, and this simply plugs in underneath the battery box, as you can see. You have your drive unit loom that actually comes pre-fitted to the drive unit when it arrives, and then you just plug this up into the bottom of the battery box. And then have your 70 mil cable here, which is your link loom for front to rear of the battery box. Now on this battery box, it also has two connections for our CCS charging. And yes, said CCS charging. So UK, Europe, CCS type two, all good, ready to go. Later this year, also we get CCS type one for the American market. Um, we're do producing this with a CCS in the rear. So if you wanna do CCS fast charging, you pop the boot open and you plug in. AC charging you do at the front. And that comes standard with all of our kits. Now this is our brake vacuum system. 
this replaces the original vacuum from the Porsche motor, which would have put a vacuum to your brake servo. So this replaces that, it's a small vacuum pump and a reservoir, so it gets up to pressure and then maintains that pressure so it doesn't come on all the time every time you press the brake, keeps it nice and quiet. Plugs into your original IO loom that we've supplied. And then there's a little output here which goes to your servo. And you've also got the same with your power steering for the 964s. Um, we have had produced power steering lines. So these screw onto all the original lines. You don't have to make up any custom lines. You have an electric power steering pump and a reservoir. Reservoir positions itself on the front strut brace. So it's easy to top up and maintain. If we then move into the interior of the car, now this is the real cool bit. So this is the gear selector that comes part of our Porsche kit. Now this bolts into the original location. It's a whole effect sensor. You do drive neutral and reverse. So you've still got that feel of having a manual gear selector uh, and the look from on sires, but it's simple, easy to drive and a beautiful CNC billet solution. Now I'm getting carried away. Let's go. This has got to be one of my favorite parts of the Porsche kit, which is the gauge cluster. Then we have five gauges, and I will start with the smallest one. So this is voltage. This does main battery voltage and the 12 watt battery system. We then have state of charge, which is a zero to 100%, as well as a little light that comes on when you drop below it 10% charge, a bit like your fuel gauge would do on your normal vehicle. We have miles per hour which also has a little light on there. It tells you when you are charging. We also do kilometers per hour face for this as well, which comes as part of the kit. And we have temperatures. Now temperature meaning drive unit temperature and battery temperature, which also has a warning light. If you get too hot, the light will come on and pre-warn you. Now, my favorite gauge, which is the center gauge of the whole system. Now this is kilowatts. Um, so it does plus or minus kilowatts, indicators and high beam light. But on top of that, it has this little screen here, which gives you Predicted range, and I'm being serious, tells you how many miles range you have left in the battery. I nearly said tank. Um, also does watt hours per mile, does drive neutral reverse, so you know what gear you're in. And it tells you if you're in sport mode or normal mode. Yes, we have two modes, as well as trip odometer. And if there's any issues with the system, no engine warning light will pop up on here um, with a code. So we can then diagnose it if there was ever to be an issue with the system, but that's very, very, very unlikely. Now this is our rear cooling system. Um, it's, we have two coolant loops, one for the batteries, one for the motor setup, in which we have two radiators, two water pumps, two fans. Now radiators, water pumps, and fans are all standard off the shelf, water pumps, fans, and radiators, VW, VW. So if in the future, ever get an issue. These are the sort of consumables that potentially could fail in five, 10 years time. So they're easy to get hold of from your local motor factor. Now they come with pre-made aluminum piping and silicon hoses clocked correctly to go straight onto the drive unit for either side and pre-made water piping for the front to rear battery box loop. All this comes, as you can see, pre-assembled from us in a box. So you simply, once you've got your battery box up in place, you lift this up, bolt it in, and then run your coolant pot fittings and systems in afterwards. Now our 964 kit wouldn't be complete without a HVAC solution. So we've teamed up with Classic Retrofit to bring you just that. Um, you send us your old suitcase from in the front of the vehicle. We send you back a refurbished unit, uh, which has new servos, new fans. It also has dual PTC heaters to keep you warm in the winter. Now, on top of that, you also get air conditioning. So we have dual condenser and a high volt AC pump, meaning the air con in your 964 will actually be far better than original. Um, on top of that, they were renowned for failure of the ECUs and the control panels of the 964s for the HVAC system. So you get a new control panel and new ECU with wiring loom. So it means the HVAC system to become fully reliable, just like the electric system fitted. Now I think I've covered everything. I know we have with this complete plug and play bolt in 964 kit for the left and right hand drive. And it's aimed at restoration shops, Porsche specialists all over the world. If you're an individual, you can reach out to us, but the chance that we may steer you towards one of the specialists because there's normally other things that need to be done to your 964 whilst it's being converted. By all means, they're an old car. There is a G-Body next to me slash Carrera. There's a kit coming for that very soon as well. So watch out for that. 
These are going into production now, so we'll actually be able to fulfill demand fairly quickly. So please head to electricporsche11.com or .co.uk to register interest. We'll also have on there a list of Porsche specialists that will be offering this kit for fitting so you can reach out directly to them as well. If you have any comments, please leave them below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. I've been Chris Hazel. Thank you for watching the Zero V channel and I'll speak to you and see you again very soon.